video where I'm going to show you how to make sauerkraut in your very own kitchen. So here are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need a head of cabbage, cutting board and a knife, a Ziploc bag, and some salt. Uh, then you're going to need a empty and well cleaned 2 liter soda bottle and please take off the label. Some plastic wrap. You're going to need some measuring spoons but if you don't have those you can just use a regular teaspoon that you have at home. Measuring cup and then also a utility knife, scissors and some tape. And finally, if you have some disposable gloves, um, you, you should use them. If you don't have any, just wash your hands really well and you don't need to use them. So these are the materials that you'll need. I'm going to show you how to prepare the bottle that you're going to use as your container for making the sauerkraut. And you want to take the label off so that you can see what's happening and um, also make sure it's nice and clean. And then you're going to take a utility knife and you have to cut off about two-thirds of the bottle. So this doesn't have to be exact, but maybe like around here. You're just going to cut carefully. graceful than that. <laughs> but just make sure the outer layers are all. Oh, by the way, again, if you have disposable gloves, uh, wear some. If you don't have any, just make sure your hands are washed really well. All right, and then you're going to just want to rinse your cabbage. Take a sharp knife that you have 
and you're just going to want to cut your cabbage head in half carefully. Okay, and once you've cut the entire half head, now you're going to want to do some perpendicular cuts, and that's just two of them. So, kind of in sections of three, and it cut this part here, so the slivers aren't so long, and then one more cut. Alright, so now you've cut your cabbage, and the next thing you want to do is you want to measure up eight cups of it. Measuring cup. Put your slices of cabbage in there and turn it. So, this one, I'm going to put four cups, two sets of four, and you want to make sure it's tightly packed in there. You don't have too much air in there. Let me see. That's about four cups. Then you're going to take your Ziploc bag and you're going to add your cabbage to the Ziploc bag. And you're going to do that whole thing, of course, one more time for your eight cups. It looks like it's just about the right amount. Or 
remember, like, if you're trying to take out a stain out of dirty clothing, go back and forth like this. You should see some water here at the bottom. Uh, you should see some nice watery cabbage. Then you know it's ready. So you're going to take your container that you made and if you like put a label with the date so you remember the day you started. And then you're simply going to transfer the cabbage into your container and of course get all that nice cabbage juice. like this and see the air bubbles coming up you want to try to get as many of the air bubbles out of your cabbage preparation as possible and you want there to be a nice layer of liquid above your cabbage leaves like this now of course you can't hold this uh, for the remainder of the period so to put some weight in here um, we're gonna put some water all right, so make sure again that you have this liquid up here, and then you're gonna put some water in the cap just for weight. All right, and then the last thing you need to do is put some plastic over the whole preparation. And this is an important part to keep out contaminants. Uh, so carefully put plastic over everything and then I would even put a second piece of plastic all right and you just prepared your cabbage to make sauerkraut all you need now is some time specifically about four to five weeks for the first two to three days, I would leave this out um, just in your kitchen, not in a particular sunny spot, just uh, somewhere on your kitchen counter that's not too sunny. And then after the two, three days, put it in the refrigerator for the remaining um, four or five weeks. All right, well, this is how you make sauerkraut in your kitchen, and I hope you had fun. Good luck making sauerkraut. Thank you.